We have new information in a News for Jack's I-Team investigation into failing Section 8 public housing in Jacksonville. A new bill filed by Senators Marco Rubio and Rick Scott aims at making it safer for anyone who lives in federally subsidized housing. Rubio accuses HUD and property owners of neglecting low-income complexes, and the new bill would hold the government, along with the property owners, more accountable. Only on News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci shows us the plan to crack down on the problems and give tenants better ways to get issues fixed. Despite some work being done, Lisa Manners is fed up with conditions at her apartment complex. It's a band-aid, just for temporary. Yeah. So it ain't fixing the problem. She's lived at the East Side Terrace since 2015. It's failing government subsidized housing that HUD delayed inspecting for years. Why patch up when y'all got the resource money to fix it? Gut them out. But after we got involved, so did local and state leaders, like Florida Senator Marco Rubio. He's introduced the HUD Health and Safety Accountability Act. Senator Rick Scott is co-sponsoring it. The bill would give tenants a voice and a path to get things fixed. If that doesn't happen, there will be consequences for the property owners. Senator Rubio has been interested in this issue for a while now. In fact, his investigations cite numerous News for Jack's I-Team reports on problem complexes like this one, the East Side Terrace and Gardens, where we have heard from so many residents complaining about rats, roaches, mold, and a lack of inspections. Again, it's not a Democrat, it's not a Republican. Uh, it's a human life issue. Um, and I think the locals should take the lead in the sense of it's in our jurisdiction. Councilman Garrett Dennis doesn't see eye to eye with Rubio or Scott on many issues, but he believes this bill is a step in the right direction. He's been fighting for better conditions at Jacksonville complexes for years. Does HUD do enough to watch over these properties? HUD needs to do more. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a huge mammoth of, a, of, of an issue of, a, of an agency. They can do more. If passed, this would make mandatory HUD inspections better, hold property managers more accountable for safer conditions, survey tenants about living conditions, give renters resources if they have problems, and local code enforcement would have more power to investigate problems. Senator Rubio telling us no one should have to live in fear of their health and safety. And I will continue to do everything in my power to ensure decent, safe and sanitary housing for Florida families. If the bill becomes law, most of the new rules would take effect within 180 days. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.